The end of EVs is here. China just went against the U.S., leaving Joe Biden in shock as they dropped a brutal export ban, starting a massive EV market crash. The EV market already plagued by issues like EV fires, high prices, charging disasters, and poor sales, just suffered another huge blow. China just defied Joe Biden, making an announcement that could lead to thousands of American workers losing their jobs, killing the EV market completely. Why did China's export ban just start the biggest EV market crash of our lifetime? Is it all over for EVs? And why did Joe Biden secretly shake hands with China? EVs have been killing the middle class figuratively and literally, and political leaders have been lying to you. Joe Biden is in on China's latest attack on our car market, and in this video, I'm going to expose the political EV scam no one wanted you to know about. Let's get started. The story begins in 2017 when we started sourcing raw materials for EV production from China. Why China? Because everything was given to us at dirt cheap prices. Ah, the American dream. But little did the common man know that there's a darker game being played behind the scenes. Something that won't just hurt our economy, but also destroy the trend of overpriced EVs forever. So China, the big boss of rare earth metals, just decided to shake up the whole EV scene with a shocking export ban. This means that they will no longer be helping us with rare earth minerals like lithium and nickel. Joe Biden, too, just went against his own country and literally shocked everyone, but more on that in a minute. Now, if you're like, hey, what's the big deal with these rare earth metals? Let me break it down for you. These aren't your average metals. They're like the secret sauce that makes EV batteries work. We're talking about the lifeblood of the EV industry here. So China's been the kingpin in these metals for ages, holding a whopping 35% of the world's reserves. And get this, they produce over 80% of the global supply. That's a massive chunk, am I right? This means that pretty much the entire EV world depends on China to keep those electric dreams alive. But here's where the plot thickens. China's new export ban is about to cause a massive EV crash. This happened because the US banned China's semiconductor supply due to rising tensions with the EU earlier last year. And now China's like, oh, so you want to play tough? How about we destroy your EV market? And it's not just a minor hiccup. We're talking about potential production delays, price hikes, and a whole lot of nail biting in boardrooms across the globe. EV makers are scrambling to find alternative sources. Not all news is bad, though. This major EV crash also means that car makers will be able to focus on gas cars again. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can save your hard earned money and avoid this EV crash. So, what's going to happen now? The ban's already making waves, with EV manufacturers hitting the panic button. The cost of these essential metals is skyrocketing, which means that making EVs just got a whole lot pricier. For the smaller fish in the EV pond, this is a nightmare scenario. EVs were already rotting in dealer lots, and with this new ban, the sales are going to nosedive further, ruining Joe Biden's shady plan to force EVs on the common man. Yes, you heard that right, shady. You see, despite dealers and automakers warning Joe Biden to not side with China, he's been rolling out strict emissions laws left and right to force companies into selling only EVs. And just last week, he did something that totally defied U.S. interests. He went ahead and vetoed a law that was all about keeping things local, specifically for those EV charging stations popping up everywhere. This law wanted to make sure that all the stuff used to build these chargers, like the steel and iron, was coming from right here in the U.S. Sounds good, right? Keep jobs local, support American workers, all that jazz. But the law also said that if we stuck to this Buy America rule, it could slow down getting these charging stations up and running. And with the whole world trying to get their hands on these chargers because of the big EV boom, sticking to just US materials could make things super slow and super expensive. So Biden is now using this as an excuse to again buy a lot of stuff from China to build these chargers. Okay, we get it, Chicken Little. The EV market is gonna crash. But do me a favor and visit any dealer lot around the block. You'll be shocked to see the number of EVs already sitting at discounted rates over there. It isn't just an overnight crash caused by China. This is a long game that involves shipping dangerous EVs that have even killed many people out there, but more on that in a minute. Let's dive into the nitty gritty. Imagine walking into a car dealership and seeing rows upon rows of shiny new EVs just sitting there collecting dust. 
It's a strange sight considering we've been told EVs are the next big thing. Dealerships are practically swimming in unsold cars, with some brands reporting over 90 days worth of stock just hanging around. To put that into perspective, it's like having enough cars to last till next season without selling a single one. And those numbers? They're staggering. We're talking about a 506% increase in EV inventories compared to last year. I mean, come on, that's just bananas. Now, you might be wondering why this is all happening. Well, buckle up, because it's a bit of a roller coaster. First off, these high tech marvels aren't cheap. Even with the price tags getting trimmed and the government waiving tax incentives like magic wands, the average Joe and Jane are still giving EVs the bombastic side eye. The average price for a new EV took a nosedive from around $65,295 to $50,683. But guess what? That's still a hefty chunk of change more than your average gas guzzler. And it's not just the sticker price that's making folks hesitant. People are scratching their heads over the total cost of owning an EV. Think about it. Installing a home charger can set you back a couple of grand. Insurance premiums are through the roof. And don't get me started on the repair bills. There have been cases where people have had to pay as much as $50,000 just to fix a scratch on their EV battery. 50 k for a scratch? Let that sink in. Now for the biggest problem that no one saw coming. EV fires. Due to the US's heavy reliance on China for EV parts, there have been countless cases where we've got subpar parts and poor quality materials from the Chinese, in which some cases even led to people losing their lives. Take Teslas for instance, if you've ever sat in one, you will instantly know one thing, that the interior quality isn't that great. We're talking about huge panel gaps, rattling noises with parts, and loads of software glitches. It's like the Chinese dumped the worst of the worst onto the US to meet a quota. And it was all fine until these subpar Teslas started catching fire and killing people. We've seen cases of Teslas catching fire, burning down whole houses, and in some cases, even trapping the owners inside and killing them. What's even worse is that Teslas are now dying out in the middle of the road due to cold weather as people are finally starting to realize EVs are not meant to handle cold weather. But do you know what never freezes in cold weather? Gasoline. Now how can the common Joe save himself from this market crash and avoid spending money on these overpriced cars? Well here's the harsh truth, EVs are not the future, but a big scam meant to kill the middle class. Do not buy an EV right now until the charging grid is strong enough. Instead, put your money in cheaper gas cars, which are soon about to see an increase in MSRP because EVs are going to get costlier and people will again come back running to buy the trusty old gas guzzlers. All in all, due to the export ban, the entire EV supply chain is on red alert. From the folks making the batteries to the ones crafting the electronic parts, everyone's feeling the heat. And let's not forget about us, the consumers. With production costs going up, you can bet your bottom dollar that we'll see those price hikes reflected in the sticker price next time we're eyeing an EV. Now here's where it gets really juicy. Some folks think China's playing a bigger game, using these metals as a geopolitical chess piece. It's like they've got the EV world in a checkmate position, controlling the pace and direction of the whole electric revolution. This could mean China gets a leg up in the global EV race, tipping the scales in their favor. Companies like BYD are already beating China and Volkswagen in the Chinese market. And now, China has started launching their vehicles in the EU and USA to capture our market as well. The EV revolution is at a crossroads. EV supply is soon going to crash really hard, and when that does happen, companies will just be forced to go back to making trusty old diesel and cheaper gas cars that common people actually want. So what do you think? Should the US rely on China for EV production? Is it a good idea to buy an EV right now? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.